what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just gonna do a quick video talking about sydney prescott our favorite final girl the one and only from the scream franchise uh, and what her life has probably been like for the last decade because i'm under the assumption or the impression rather that scream 5 yes will be set 10 years after the events of scream 4 so we'll be catching up and be caught up to modern times uh, it'll be many years after Scream 4, same way Scream 4 was many years after Scream 3, 10 years to be exact, if I'm not mistaken. So, jumping right on into things, we know Sydney Prescott, she's been at the center of this for the past four movies. Uh, first movie, she had her boyfriend and his best friend coming to get her. Second movie, boyfriend's mother and a classmate. Third movie, we get the re revelation that... Un that indirectly her half sibling was the architect in a way of the Ghostface killing sprees and the one who kind of indirectly put in the chain of events that we had saw from the previous two films so also in screen four we have her cousin who again is I think wonderfully played by Emma Roberts not one of her I'll, I'll give it to her that's one of Emma Roberts more better performances definitely out of all the movies i've seen from emma roberts and watching her since i was little from nickelodeon to now screen four is probably one of her best performances to date in her career so she did amazing in that role we had her cousin jill roberts who was after her in screen four she wanted all that fame and attention and a lot of us myself included feel that screen four has kind of proven itself to be ahead of its time because look at how many ways and different different tactics people will do now to just become famous and to make money and to get their 15 minutes of fame they're willing to do anything so a lot of people laughed at what jill was doing in screen four while yes it is kind of ridiculous it's not that far-fetched giving everything that we see people doing in this day and age and how people become famous overnight without having to achieve anything just like she stated so jumping right on into what i think sydney prescott's life is going to be like we know in scream 4 we caught up with her 10 years after the events of scream 3 she had just written this self-help book out of darkness so her and gail weathers now share author credits um i think gail honestly the way she looked when she saw sydney not that she was necessarily i guess not jealous but kind of I think in her mind, because there is a moment in Screen 4 where Gail is looking at Sydney during the uh, book book talks that she's having in Woodsboro in that little shop about her book. And she kind of just looks a little disappointed in herself. Maybe she feel, feels resentful about all the things that she was doing negatively towards Sydney in the past. And now how like she's on the outside looking in now and Sydney's getting all the attention that she once had. So I just felt that that was a little bit of a odd scenario right there for gail weathers and sydney prescott but we know sydney had written this self-help book about her previous trauma with her mother the ghost face killing sprees and how she's overcome it you know losing her loved ones uh losing her virginity to a to a psycho uh, probably a lot of other things that have been just going around and around through her head this past decade since she's been away from Woodsboro been away from this ghost face killing spree drama and she's had time to grow as a person and just decide to no longer be this victim so in Scream 5 which is again assume assuming on my angle that it's 10 years after Scream 4 it seems that some things that I would like to see for Sydney would be she of course has a happily married relationship or she's in a happily married relationship she has kids and she is just living her best life now who knows maybe this maybe this author um author thing took off for her maybe she's written other books maybe she's written another book like a sequel to out of darkness or just another novel about her previous traumas from those killing sprees that she survived or had to endure back in her teen and her early adulthood years so that's one scenario the other scenario would be maybe Sydney is she's better off, but maybe she's not married. She doesn't have kids. Maybe she's kind of uh, socially still kind of socially reserved because I Sydney Prescott always, in my opinion, just based off of what has happened over the course of the last four movies. I've always wondered, was she always this socially reserved or was this something that was brought on 
from the death of her mother because I've always wanted to know and I've even talked about this with my Judy Hicks theory we don't really know for certain what Sydney might have been like prior to her mother prior to her mother getting killed so I I always wondered if her mother's death really had that much of an impact on her personality wise so maybe she was very outgoing because we see that she's friends with tatum who's like a complete opposite of sydney sydney's more reserved more laid back more to herself she's more introverted than tatum who seems to be the extrovert of the two more outgoing more down to do all of these uh typical things you would see from teenagers going to these house parties wanting to hang out socially sydney kind of just seems like she's there just for the simple fact that she has a friend who understands the pain she's going through and she has all these other support groups around her due to this friend that she has tatum and then of course she has her boyfriend but she's kind of just there she's like she seems like the, the least sociable out of the pack when i look at scream the original and i think about that water that scene where they're sitting out in front of the school sydney seems like she's the most reserved she does not seem that into whatever is being discussed just at any point in time she doesn't seem like she wants to talk about anything really unless she's in a one-on-one -on -one personal setting with someone then she'll come out of her shell so i always wondered maybe was she always like this or maybe the death of her mother really sparked this i always wanted to know what if sydney was different prior to that so i think in screen five what we'll end up seeing is she'll my honest opinion is gonna gonna say that they'll give her something positive not negative the person i see having a negative lifestyle is going to be dewey i think sydney prescott will be someone who is happy in her current standing she'll be if not in a relationship had been in a previous relationship she will have children perhaps and she'll just be still getting attention from that book and i hope she's probably written a sequel to out of darkness i just hope sydney prescott is better off i think we're finally going to get to see her living somewhat of a normal decent life that is not riddled with ghost face drama and i think that's going to be a good change of pace for her and the only reason she's going to end up getting involved is for a personal reason i think what will end up happening is one of her good friends will get killed and that's why she'll go and try to help out these new victims because it's not going to have anything to do with her until one of her friends gets killed that's that's what my theory is about screen five but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram of course you can go and message me there if you if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video down in the comment section i have a link to the facebook group go ahead and join that too if you want to stay updated on anything with this channel